Hello, I am Mohamed Ali Jamili. Today I will present the paper entitled Autonomous Vehicles Lateral Control Under Policy Scenarios. First of all, I will start by presenting the outline. I will start by uh, the introduction, the state of the art. After that, I will introduce the motivations and the contributions. This paper is divided into four main sections, which are the vehicle parameters and models which contains three subsections listed as road vehicle model, vehicle possession model on the road, and vehicle steering model. The second part is dedicated to the autonomous vehicle model. Third part presents the autonomous vehicle stabilization architecture. Fourth part is multi-observer design. After that, I will present the results, conclusion, and future work. Introduction. Uh, every day, a large number of ind individuals die as a result of car crashes across the world. The main causes are inattention, sleepiness, and sickness. The goal of the autonomous lateral control is to maintain the vehicle in the lane under varied limits, preventing accidents regardless to the driver's situation. So, the autonomous vehicle lateral control is one of the most significant safety solutions. Uh, the state of the art. The autonomous vehicle control has gotten a lot of attention from scientists and engineers, and several findings have been published. Some authors they use the combination of the fuzzy logic and PID control, other uh, stabilized lateral dynamics with the consideration of parameter uncertainties and control saturation through uh, two main uh, things, which are robust your control to improve vehicle handling and uh, stability. So the issue in this method is that the state vector contains only two parameters to be controlled which are the yaw rate and the side slip angle in this case there is no enough information about the state of the vehicle that allows for their control in tight way uh, other authors present a known uh, model based control to improve lateral stability where output tracking control and adaptive Dynamic programming approach are employed to track the desired yaw rate and at the same time mitigate the side slip angle, roll angle, and roll rate of the vehicle. So, the problem here or the issue is that the proposed idea does not have a mathematical model which implies no mathematical stability and stabilization analysis to get access to the system control. Other authors Investigative vision-based autonomous driving with deep learning and reinforcement learning methods. Nonetheless, there are no constraints in the model, example, lateral mean force, no row curvature, and steering physical saturation. This implies that the introduced method is still far from real-world driving uh, uh, situations. The authors, like uh, at, uh, Astolfi, studied the asymptotic stabilization problem for a class of nonlinear underactuated systems. Mixed with the back stepping and the forward control, this method is exploited in the control of the nonlinear lateral dynamics of the vehicle. The issues in this case are there is a constant longitudinal velocity, just one. And only one internal variable that can be controlled. So the motivations uh, after reading the state of the art are the first motivation was to find the technique allow us to get more access to the system. Uh, we need also the possibility to sweep into a large lo longitudinal velocity range and the system can be constrained with lateral wind force road with a known curvature and steering saturation. The solution was the Takagi Sigueno Fuzzy model and one. Because the Takagi Sigueno Fuzzy control gives the possibility to sweep into large longitudinal velocity. The Takagi Sigueno Fuzzy control system are efficient and successful because they can describe nonlinear system in a convex form. However, the Takagi Sigueno fuzzy control approach belongs to the state feedback. So we need the X, which is the state vector, and we will find using the state uh, vector estimator, or we call observers. 
So the second motivation is that the state vector always are noisy or uh, completely in, inaccessible or uh, partially accessible. So based on this second motivation of work, we will develop an observer called Yonberger Multi Observer to ensure the re reconstruction of the system state vector that we can use in the control after that or in the control law. So the contribution are we will use a quadratic layer point of function uh, which is simple in implementation and an improved PDC control uh, created by the layer of function applies the Takagi Sigueno fuzzy system to make the results more uh, relaxed. And we will move to the vehicle parameters and models. Uh, In this, uh, the cars here, the car specific. In this part, we will present the cars specifications, description, and values, which are listed in this uh, table. And we will uh, we will present the three fundamental models, which are first of all the road vehicle model presented by Rajamani, and we, in this model we will give us the uh, two. Here the uh, we have the uh, the first uh, state, which is sigma in this case, and we have the beta, which is the uh, side slip angle. We have uh, the O rate, which is R, and we will uh, apply the lateral wind force in this uh, model presented in Figure One, as you can see here. And the matrices here are coming from the uh, are derived from the Newton law. The second model is the vehicle position model on the road, as you can see where uh, equation two and it is given by uh, Rajamani as well, where y l is the lateral deviation error, which is a state. Uh, we have uh, phi l, which is the heading error, which is an, a state as well. And we have the road curvature, which is uh, phi r in this case. And we have the third important model. And the sum up of this model, we will come up with the autonomous vehicle uh, model. Where TS in equation 3 is the steering torque, which is the control or the input. Sigma is the steering angle. LS is the inertia moment. BS is the damping factor, RS is the reduction ratio, sigma T is the width of the tire, and the uh, finally the manual steering, which is KPE, and you can find all these uh, reference in uh, in our uh, paper. So finally we come up with the continuous uh, model for the autonomous vehicle. The state, as you can see, we have six uh, internal variables. And these internal variables are coming from the previous three models presented in uh, slides uh, 15, 16, 14, uh, 15, and 16. And uh, we have the uh, the disturbance, which is the lateral wind force under non curvature here. And we have the input or the command is DS in this case. And we will. Uh, uh, apply the uh, PDC control law here to the system and in equation 7 we have the discrete time Takashi signal models uh, and we have the candidate Lyapunov function which is in our case in the quadratic Lyapunov function so the theorem said if you have a F matrix which is a positive def definite matrix and uh, a symmetric matrix, we will come up with a uh, ellipsoid form, which is a convex form, or we call it a ball form, which means we have only one absolute uh, minimum. Here, so we will apply the PDC control parallel distribute composition law, which is a state feedback law. Here, we will apply it in the closed loop of the equation 7, and we will come up with these uh, uh, conditions for the stabilization.
here we will find the LMEs. We can find on the uh, paper. To find the LMEs, we will use the uh, sure complement and we will use the uh, simple variable change. This is a mathematical trick to go from bilinear matrix to linear matrix inequality. And we come up here with the uh, linear matrix inequalities using MATLAB tools we will find the variable which are the gain for the stability and the gain for the uh, sta uh, stability and stabilization the gain for the uh, multi-observer and uh, for sure the uh, uh, matrix F which is symmetric and definite positive matrix and here we we need to find the x for the stabilization as so for the uh, control law so here we will use the uh, nonlinear observer which means uh, the estimation error must be uh, equal to 0 or goes to 0 which means x is x hat which is the estimated is really equal to uh, the x of the state of the real system we apply the conditions and finally we come up with the gain for the uh, control and for to ensure the stability of the observer and the st stability and stabilization of the whole the system which are j1 and j2 in our case here we applied a uh, lateral wind force and we as we can see the output goes to zero which means our system is robust for the exogenous uh, disturbance here we have six states which are our system state. So uh, the first uh, two figures are the two output of the system when we applied lateral wind force, which is a 500 newton. This figure shows that our control is robust against the ex ex exogenous disturbance, and these six figures present the internal variable that can be controller of the system. So, uh, in this uh, in this paper, uh, uh, normally the autonomous vehicle must follow the center lane, the center line of the lane. So, and we disrupt or we we make the autonomous vehicles far from the center lane, and we apply the control, and we will see if the control works well or not. If the state vector goes to zero, means that the autonomous vehicle is uh, on the center line of the lane as we can see here after a few seconds all the uh, internal variables goes to zero which means that we have a good control and the autonomous vehicle uh, follow the desired uh, path so conclusion on future work, in this paper we propose a control design for an autonomous vehicle. The discrete time Takaji Sigueno system represents the autonomous vehicle model. The state vector is computed by using the Leonberger observer. We apply the PDC control law to the TS fuzzy model. We have feasible LMEs conditions have been developed and guaranteed the lane keeping under certain limits. The results show that the lateral control of autonomous vehicles to keep it on the center line of the lane is well done under various constraints and scenarios. In the future work we will improve the heading error, the, the, uh, the percentage is a uh, little bit here as we can see is 2, uh, 290, the heading error is 290, we will improve to make sure that the, when the car moves and wants to go back to the center lane move safe so this is the last point and thank you so much